Today I'm going to show you guys how to install LEDs on a bottoms-up dispenser. First of all, you need to make sure you are equipped to be able to install the LEDs. Here's a control pad. Um, you need to have these two small ports on the back side of the circuit board in order to make this work. For material, you will need two LEDs with the O-rings already pre-installed. Next, you'll need uh, the nuts that retain them to the drain pan and also two of the connectors uh, that plug onto the pins on the LEDs. For tools, you will need channel locks, uh, blue masking tape, and also a drill with about a half inch, uh, half inch drill bit on it to bevel the hole. And also, what also helps is having a 10 millimeter quarter inch drive deep socket first step here is to take out your drip tray and remove your cup coupler and you want to just place these away from where you're going to be drilling. Next step is to remove the rubber plugs that cover up the LED holes. Rip off a small piece of masking tape and place it over the valve. We do not want to get shavings inside the valve because you, you will be pulling that apart if you do. Next step is to take your half inch drill bit with your drill and double the holes. Now it doesn't take much, it's actually that's just enough. Actually, these ones are already bubbled, but I just want a little bit more on it. Before going any further, you need to clean up all the shavings that are in the drain pan, just so that actually don't accidentally don't get inside the valve. I'm just going to use this piece of tape and pick them all up with that. And throw the tape away. I'd like to note, if you accidentally install the connector on before threading it, pushing it down into the pan, um, you'll notice that the nut will not slip over the connector. So at that point, uh, you either need to get a new LED or you need a very precision tool to be able to pull out the pins if they're already locked in. Next step is to take both of your LEDs and fish them through the hole. Now the o-ring on this LED should nest down into the little beveled spot that you used with your, your half inch drill bit. Next you'll want to take your LED nut, place it on the end over the two wires, bring it all the way up to the top and start threading it, threading it into the LED here. Uh, once you get that just started, you can grab your 10 millimeter quarter inch drive socket and get it the rest of the way up there. It helps if you hold on to the LED. You apply pressure on the LED from the top also. So if you don't have a quarter inch drive uh, 10 millimeter deep socket, um, the next best thing would be to thread the nut all the way up with your fingers um, and then also what you're going to want to do is place your finger on the nut um, and give it a little bit of a tighten from the top and it doesn't need to be super tight, it just needs to compress this o-ring that's right below. Now that both your LEDs are secured to the pan, it should look like this. Um, then with this connector right here, keep in mind the orientation in which I'm holding it, you should be looking at the blue little rubber piece. And then when you insert this tab, the should be inserted, the white should go to the right. And you'll push it in and you'll hear a distinctive click when it goes in. And it, it has to go in, it is polarity sensitive, sensitive, 
and it, it does need to be in that orientation. If you hook it in backwards, the LED just simply won't work. The last step is going to be connecting into the LED ports. So I'll just bend these tabs out of the way if they are in the way. And you'll just grab, doesn't matter which one you plug into, but it does only go in one direction. So don't force it. You'll hear it click in when it's fully inserted. Last step is to put your drip tray back on, put your coupler back on, and then test that the LEDs are working. Oh, they will work in manual, 